Welcome to this episode of On Finding Peace, brought to you by Life's Journey Life Coaching. Our host, Chris Shea, is a counselor, nationally recognized speaker, and author on topics of guiding us to finding peace in our daily lives. Learn more about Chris Shea by visiting his website, www.lifesjourneyblog.com. And welcome to another episode of On Finding Peace. I'm your host, Chris Shea, and this podcast is focused on tips and techniques that we can use in our lives to find inner peace and happiness. If you have any suggestions for topics, please let us know through social media or email. My contact information is found at my website, lifesjourneyblog.com. The topic for this episode is defining success. Unfortunately, our society defines success for us. and As we strive to meet the expectations of our society, we lose ourselves and our sense of inner peace. In this episode, I'll talk about perspective on success and provide four tips on how to shift our perspective so that we can be successful and maintain our inner peace. Here's a favorite quote of mine. If I try to fail and succeed, which have I done? I don't know who said this, but I use this quote with my college students in an attempt to challenge them to look at life from a different perspective. In challenging our perspectives, and even our definitions, I'm not merely playing semantics, as I really firmly believe that words do hold meaning. If you aren't sure about the validity of that statement, then think of the last time someone's words either caused you joy or caused you pain. Words do have the power to affect our emotions. Therefore, by challenging ourselves to look at our own definitions from a new perspective has the ability to change how we feel. How I define success or I should say how success is defined for me, influences how I feel about myself. Many of us have culturally learned that success is defined by tangible goods. We hear expressions such as, if I have more things than someone else, I'm successful. Or, if I have a title or initials after my name, I'm successful. These cultural statements aside... I hope the people who have worked hard to accomplish what they feel is a level of of success take pride in themselves. But the question remains, does someone else's level of success negate or take away from my perceived level of success? In other words, is one success defined in relation to another's accomplishments? For example, a person who works hard and deservedly obtains a position of a CEO, is perceived as reaching success in life. While another person who works hard, and is known to be, let's say, the best plumber in town, although an employee of the company, not the owner or partner, wouldn't we agree that that person also has attained success? What about the trash collector who strives to be the best trash collector there is? Have they attained success? If we agree that the people in these examples have attained success, would we also agree that each of them is equally as successful? So why is it that many of us, although accomplished in what we do, continue to feel less successful than the person holding a higher position or making more money than I? I believe that one of the answers is due to our drive to challenge ourselves as we strive for excellence. These motives and qualities are positive, yet at the same time, they also perpetuate a self-told narrative that others are always better than I. Does this mean we shouldn't strive for betterment? Of course we should strive to better ourselves, but not at the cost of sacrificing our core being or our inner peace. Here's a quote which is attributed to the Catholic priest, Father Joseph Martin. He was the co-founder of Father Martin's Ashley. And he states, The good 
is the enemy of the best. Striving to grow, mature, and gain wisdom leads us to feelings of accomplishment and possibly even success. But that depends on our definition of success. So I've just kind of taken us back to the beginning of this uh, discussion, but not any closer to any definitive answer. Is there a definitive definition of success? Can we objectively apply one definition to everyone? Or are we left with a subjective understanding of the concept of success? Personally, I believe it's the latter. If the definition is subjective, then how do I define success for my own life? I suggest that each of us challenge and change our perspective on success from one which is based on societal objectivity with its comparison to others to a perspective where we strive to obtain success as defined by our values, thereby leading us toward an inner peace, happiness, and self-worth. In making this perspective shift, it requires us to look within ourselves, to examine our motives for wanting to better ourselves. As I had mentioned, the desire toward betterment is a positive notion, Yet it depends on my motivation. We need to ask ourselves, why do I desire to be better? Why do I strive for success? How will I know that I've achieved success? Is my motivation toward betterment and success based solely on the belief of beating everyone else? If so, then I may be willing to compromise my core being and values to achieve that height of success. Or else I may view myself as a failure. In this scenario, one success comes at a price. The idea of seeking betterment is not the issue. The motivation guiding us is in the end what causes us to gain everything, yet continue to feel empty and restless. So how can I change my motivation and perspective on success so that I can attain the best I can be and still feel inner peace. Here's four tips. Number one, meditate. Take time each day, even if it's just 10 or 20 minutes, and meditate. Find a quiet location or take a walk, whichever helps you best to focus. Focus on your breathing. Don't try to control your breaths. Just notice them. Be aware of the air entering and the air leaving. Be aware of what you're feeling. Don't judge the feeling. Just notice it. Practice this every day, and over time you will notice that not only is the act of meditating easier, but you yourself will be feeling more at peace. My second tip, examine. Take time to reflect on what success means to you. Don't judge your definition. Simply define it. How does your definition make you feel? Does your definition match with your core self and your values? If not, ask yourself what you will need to change so as to create a match. Keep in mind that sacrificing who you are for temporal gain will not, in the long term, bring you to a state of peace. My third tip, confer. Take time to meet with family or close friends whom you trust to discuss your thoughts and feelings from the above two tips. Listen to them without judgment. Listen to their feedback. And the next time that you meditate, reflect on that feedback and on your feelings concerning what you just heard. And my fourth and final tip, act. A saying that I often repeat is, there are no problems, only solutions. Let me repeat, there are no problems, only solutions. I don't know who first said this quote, 
but its meaning motivates me to reframe my thinking and to change my perspective from what I would call a problem-oriented to a solution-oriented. It's creating a deep belief that solutions are possible. And when I believe that, then I know that I can reach success and I'll still be maintaining a, a, a inner peace. I'd like to hear from all of you on the tips that you would add to the tips that I uh, just stated. If you go to my website, you'll find the many social media ways to connect with me and to share your thoughts. I hope that you found this episode and my tips helpful. And if so, I encourage you to spread the word by telling your friends. Thank you all for listening and have a very mindful day. Thank you for listening to this episode with Chris Shea. Learn more about Chris Shea by visiting his website, www.lifesjourneyblog.com.